Hey guys, this is Hike from Logic Inbound. I just wanted to share with you a quick tip on how to see what the best selling products, most popular products are on anyone's Shopify store, and also how to prevent people from seeing your best selling products. So let's say, for example, you're looking at Fashion Nova. Um, they have a great website, it looks really good. You click on best sellers, uh, and all these products look interesting, but they seem to fall too close of a pattern. You know, I don't think these are the most popular products that they sell. Uh, there's a trick you can do with adding, uh, going to their main domain and then adding slash collections slash all question mark sort by equals best selling and page equals one. So let's see what happens when you do this. Uh, what you'll start to see once this page loads is these are the products that they're actually selling the most of most number of units and you'll realize that the best selling page that we were looking at is actually a manually curated collection um, because you'll notice all these products at the top they're brand new how could they be their best selling products right so what you'll really see is that on their all products if you look at best selling um, it's probably you know all this stuff that you see here this is the type of products that you see a lot of people wearing so it makes sense that these are their actual best selling products uh, and this is more useful information than what they want you to see for their best sellers page. Now, how do you prevent this? Uh, maybe you don't want people to know what your best selling products are if you're afraid of competitors copying you essentially and cloning your product line. So let's look at an example, uh, phonebb.com. I looked at their site and actually when you try this trick, uh, you'll notice that it doesn't work. Uh, you see that I put it in at the top and then as soon as I load the page, it takes me right back to the products page, uh, showing me the products exactly how they want them, exactly how they want me to see them. They don't show me their real data. So what's the workaround? So I looked at their source code, and it's actually a pretty simple script. Uh, I cleaned it up, and I put it on one of our own Shopify sites. So you can see here the cleaned up version. It's just a couple lines. Uh, you put this in the collection template because you only need to load the script when someone is looking at a collection. That's the only time they can get a sorted list of your products from Shopify. So this is the script, we'll include it in the article and in the video description so you can get it for yourself. It's really simple, you just put it in your collection template dot liquid, or if you have a different kind of theme, uh, whatever section or snippet or template is used for your collections. So once you add that in there, uh, you can see how it works. So I'm gonna try that again here. Um, I'm gonna put the trick in here and look at that, it takes me back to the all view. And it'll work even if I'm looking at, let's say you know, we have another product line here. I wanna see, oh, what are the most popular products in this category, right? Uh, well, normally you just trim off this, everything up to the question mark. It should work. Oh, but look at that. It takes me right back there. So right now, if I go and try this on Fashion Nova, maybe I look at their jeans. I want to see what are the most popular jeans. Uh, jeans. So I just want to do jeans and then question mark. Right? And bam, it tells me the most popular jeans. So just, just like that, in a couple seconds, I've prevented th that kind of snooping. It's really simple. All you, all you need is this code, and you just need to put it in your Shopify theme. If you, guys have, if you guys have any questions about this or if you guys want any help, just reach out to us and we'll show you how to do it firsthand. Thanks.